the bulk of this show. Actually, I did it in uh, a year's time, right after the uh, national, or maybe nine months, like giving birth, nine months. And um, so I proceeded to do many more paintings in collage, and then also kind of defy um, my use of color in, in black and whites a lot. What I've neglected to say, because sometimes I kind of get nervous or something, I was a stylist and costume designer supporting painting, and um, I see, you know, the veils and the fabric, you know, the use of the collage as layers, you know, um, that somehow innately was an influence, you know, that I hadn't used ever really. Although I've had texture and, you know, built up, but I, I hadn't used the um, collage element. We had kind of started hanging the show or placing it. And I don't know, this started and then uh, Marcelo thought, oh, it's like a teaser. So we changed the name, I changed the name to teaser. I like that better, so. And this has uh, a black mesh, which I started with. And instead of just the um, black and white, uh, it's got mauve and some beige in it, you know. It's got, it's still very, very tonal. Um, and I wasn't sure if it was horizontal or vertical, so I decided vertical. And like my original paint of original, I mean, it, some of the earlier, it's got um, thick, uh, not matte and shiny, and obviously this is very, very matte. And and then we have shiny here. I'm never sure what medium I use or trip on or anything. But this one seems to have. It's called Foggy Day Woman. I guess after Dylan, um, it has uh, more drips. I guess I have a little white paint on top. And it's also just really a few colors, more gray-blue tonal. There's a little touch of green. Um, also collage, glued on. And um, a lot of the collage, as I've said, has the drawing, you know, the, the shapes. It creates the shapes. But it also reminds me of Renaissance time, the uh, Greek clothes, you know, the way they were. Yeah, very much so. All the pleats and the fabric drapes. And yeah, yeah, exactly. The pleats and the fabric, yeah. When they just had like togas and just simple fabrics, yeah. I remember um, in Poons' studio, I saw like wood behind it and stuff. Um, and I like an angle because it's, it's not just straight on, you know, where you're just straight on. It gives me a. Um, a mom, I don't but um, it gives me a play in a way, and the drips go on an angle, almost like kind of rain, you know, just rain happening. Um, but yeah, I have boards on angles, and they're tacked onto boards before they're stretched. I like the, uh, not the accident, because it's not, but I, I like the play of it, you know? Um, I remember when I was in Triangle Workshop, and uh, I think Poons had selected me years ago, many years ago, and I had a painting outside, and it started to rain, and everybody was all upset, and I think Larry had said, Francine doesn't care. It was like, God does it for you, you know? It's, <laughs> yeah. The story, I've done blacks before. Um, there was one homage to Artemisia in the National that was a big hit. But actually, there was a sale from my supplier on black canvas. So um, I started, and this was kind of my first. I mean, they're not just ever black, you know. And I just kind of washed this down, uh, kind of like water dripping on it, you know, just erased it, pentimento, and then this was left. So, like the early drawings that they just, you know, they're not erasing, they're just, you know, changing it and keeping the other part in there. And this is so different, yeah. This is like all my uh, colorful um, Hoffman. I mean, 
you know, half in my colors. <laughs> I don't know, just the kind of push pull and see it right in your face kind of, you know. Yeah, an opposite to this, this is more, you know, the pentimento or like you say, you know, the imagination. And then this is boom, right up front. This was also the very beginning of um, the collages. I think I'm never sure what I do. This was not the mesh. I see that this is plastic. And what I did was give myself an exercise, and on this one, it's clear, a very, very little color. I mean, this is black and white only, and drawing, you know. Most of them, the collage kind of does the drawing for me, you know, because drawing is a big part of my vocabulary. Um, and I remember reading Matisse said, show me a black and white drawing, charcoal, and I'll tell you who has color. And I was talking about that last night with a writer. And even though this is black and white, I don't know, maybe there's a, a feeling of color. You know, the person has color. Okay. Yeah, but the Chinese landscape, we went yeah. and looked at it when we were hanging the paintings and Alex was here taking notes to write the essay. Um, <clears throat> he brought that up. I had said Goya for the Mantello or something like that. You know, the fabric in the painting but also very much like Chinese or Japanese landscape. This is fluid approach, and uh, it's a little, I can't be in a formula really, it's new, and it's a little bit like some of my earlier works, and this is quite stained. I, I usually do thick and thin, it's almost like a watercolor, and it had been cropped because it was wider and longer, but as I do where the action is, you know. It's got a lot of stuff in it, and it's, you know, a feeling, you know, the colors will bring, you know, more ground or grass or, you know, landscape for sure, which seems to be in a lot of the works that I do. It's, I'm not a landscape abstract artist by any sense. I am an abstract artist. But I do live in a little penthouse off of Washington Square Park, and my whole house is sky. So I'm constantly in this small New York with big buildings, I'm constantly seeing big sky. So maybe that has an horizon, I don't know. But each defies the other. That's abstract, you know, it's, it's what you see, you know. It tells you, look at me, and, and what do you see? It's raising your consciousness, not like, you know, what does it mean?